Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today Apple has released iOS 14 beta 6. This comes a week after the release of beta 5, which was an amazing update. So in this video, we're going to take a look at beta 6 and see what's new with this new beta, all the new features and changes that Apple has added to iOS 14 beta 6. Starting things off with the size of the update, iOS 14 beta 6 should come to your device at around 400 megabytes. This of course will be different on different devices and also will be different if you didn't have iOS 14 beta 5 installed on your device. If you didn't have it, it will probably be way way bigger than 400 megabytes. If you had iOS 14 beta 5 already installed, it should be somewhere around 400 megabytes. The build number for this new beta will be 18A5357E. This is the new build number of iOS 14 beta 6. Moving on to the new features and changes that you will find on iOS 14 beta 6. Now this is the first change that I noticed. Once I updated my device to iOS 14 beta 6, I saw this message on the screen which says that swipe up to finish setting up iOS 14. Now usually this says something like your device has been updated to the latest software or something like that, but now this has changed and it says swipe up to finish setting up your iOS 14. A big new feature of iOS 14 will be found under accessibility. You go to settings, go to accessibility and find your AirPods right here. Go to AirPods and here we'll find a new setting follow iPhone. Now, as you probably have seen on WWDC, Apple mentioned spatial audio. This is a new feature coming to the AirPods Pro and this is the new setting for that feature. So basically follow iPhone, what it does, if you enable it, it will basically on supported audio, of course, it will show the sound like it's coming from your iPhone. So even though you have your AirPods in your ear and you're listening to the sound through your AirPods, it will basically show like the sound is coming out of your iPhone not your AirPods. So this is the new feature that Apple has implemented with this new spatial audio that they're doing with the AirPods Pro. So this can be found under accessibility and under the AirPods section and you can enable or disable it from here. Another change on iOS 14 beta 6 is the widget, the bigger widget that Apple has added for the news app on beta 5. Now that widget didn't fit on the screen. So if you try to add it, it will basically just go to the widget section on the left side of your screen. But now it's a bit smaller. It also shows like four different articles, which is of course bigger than the big one, which shows three, but it now fits the screen of your iPhone, which is really, really cool. With iOS 14 beta 6, I have seen reports from people that 4K video playing on YouTube app is now supported on other devices on the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 10R. So these new devices have gotten the support for 4K videos on the YouTube app with beta 6. Now Apple is rolling out this feature like constantly with beta. So every beta they support new devices and now with beta 6 looks like the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 10R have got the 4K video playing on the YouTube app. There will be also a new splash screen for the Maps app. So once you install Beta 6 on your device and you open the Maps, you will see here Navigate, Explore and Discover. Like it will show you like different informations regarding the new features that Apple has added on the Maps app on iOS 14. Now, one thing I have noticed here on the wallpaper section, when you go to wallpapers, you can see here it displays the preview of the wallpapers. Now, the lock screen one is normal. The one on the home screen looks like blurred. Now, we have seen a feature that was supposed to come to iOS 14 for the wallpaper section where you could like blur the wallpaper on the home screen so the widgets will look cleaner and better, of course, but Apple hasn't added that feature yet. But this shows right here on the wallpaper section on the settings app. I don't know if this is a bug or what it is, but you can see it will just blur out the wallpaper on the home screen. Of course, on the home screen, it looks normal, but here on the preview, it will show a blurred vision of that wallpaper. Now, I did run a Geekbench test on iOS 14 beta 6, and this is the score I got. So 1,338 on the single core score and 3,340 on the multi-core score. So taking a look back here, we have beta 5 here. This is beta 6, and we can notice there a slight improvement on single core but also a slight decrease on the multi-core score right there. So it's kind of the same like iOS 14 beta 5. We'll have to wait and see how the performance and battery life and all that is, but it looks to be 
on Geekbench, it looks to be kind of like the same as Beta 5. Probably a lot of you guys have not been expecting Apple to release a beta version of iOS 14 this week as they just released beta 5 last week. Now from now on Apple will do betas, will release betas of iOS 14 on a weekly cycle. So every week, probably every Tuesday expect Apple to release a new version of iOS 14 beta. Beta 5 was really really good, it, I was really happy with it, it performed quite good, the major bugs that were on beta 4 which was terrible have been fixed and the performance was really really smooth and I really enjoyed it. Hopefully beta 6 will be the same, of course I will keep you updated with an, a follow up video on how beta 6 will perform. So from now on expect Apple to release a new beta every week until the release of the final version of iOS 14 to the public. Now the new beta should come, beta 7 should come next week which is probably if it comes Tuesday or maybe even Wednesday, we have to wait and see for that, probably it will be Tuesday and that will be September 1st, that's the day when Apple should release the next beta of iOS 14. Now of course with the release of beta 6 and probably next week beta 7, we're getting closer to the release of the final version of iOS 14. Now due to some reports that I have seen some leaks which of course I did a video on them and you can check it out by checking the card up there, iOS 14 should come really really soon. There are reports of course Apple confirmed that the new iPhones will be released a few weeks later and of course that won't interrupt iOS 14 iOS 14 will be released on September. Apple is releasing new devices in September. They're releasing a new Apple Watch as well as new iPad. So to run watchOS 7, you will need iOS 14. That way Apple is releasing iOS 14 earlier. And that should happen on September 17th. So September 1st will be beta 7. Probably we will see beta 8 then a week later. Then probably we will see like for like three or four days before the final release, we will see the GM version, which is the gold master version of iOS 14. And then on September 17th, we should see iOS 14 getting released to the public. So that's basically it for this video, guys. This is iOS 14 beta 6, the newest release from Apple, the newest update on the betas of iOS 14. So from now on, expect Apple to release weekly an update on iOS 14 until the release of the final version to the public. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something new today. Leave a like if you did. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more iOS 14 updates and I will see you guys on the next one.